Hey, what's going on people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Galaxy S22 Plus. I recently took my SIM card out of my S22 Ultra and I put it into the S22 Plus and I gotta say, I really like this phone. And in this video, I'm gonna go over 10 reasons why you might wanna consider picking this up over the Ultra. So the first reason why I really like the S22 Plus is its size, weight, and form factor. I really like the size and form factor of this phone. It feels really good in the hand. And this is very subjective, but it feels like an older iPhone with its curved sides and its metallic feeling. I really like it. Like it just fits in my hand good and it's easy to use with one hand versus something like the S22 Ultra, which I'm coming from, and you can see the size difference is, is quite large. Like this is a very big phone. And even though I love it, don't get me wrong, this phone's just easier to use, especially when you put a case on it. So I always recommend putting a case on your phone. It just gives you some protection. And this case from Samsung fits really nice on the S22 Plus. And I can still use it with a single hand if I want to, but if I needed some added security, I have this little strap where I can tuck a few fingers back here and use it with one hand without the risk of dropping it. This is a great case. I'll link it in the description if you feel like picking one up, but it's my favorite case so far for the S22 Plus. And speaking of protection, this brings me to my second point, and that's the S22 Plus doesn't have a curved display like the S22 Ultra. So you don't have that wraparound display, which means that you can pick up cheaper screen protectors. For instance, the one that I'm using, I think is like 15 bucks versus the one on my S22 Ultra, which is almost 50 bucks. Quite a big difference, and it just gives you that added form of security for your phone. Before I move on, there's a couple more things I wanna mention about the screen protector in the case. So the screen protector is fully compatible with the in-display fingerprint scanner. It works perfectly, so you don't have to worry about any issues with that. It's also very responsive, as you can see, so there's no touch sensitivity issues. Just make sure that you go in, re-register your fingerprints, and if you do notice any delay or anything like that with the touch responsiveness, you can go under display and toggle on um, the increased touch sensitivity option right there. Just toggle that on and that will fix any issues. But I haven't noticed any issues and I have not messed with anything whatsoever. So it's a great screen protector. It's from Spigen, link down below. And the case, this little metal part right here, you may not know, but this can actually be used as a clip so you can clip it to your pocket. You just need to find a clip that can fit right in there and it will hold your phone just like this. So you can clip it to your bag or to your pocket. But more importantly, this metal part allows this strap to stay where it's at. So it never goes under this little lip. So it gives you full protection from dropping your phone as long as you're using the strap. So that's what this little metal piece is for, in case you're wondering. All right, so we're trying something new today. It's from Rosalie. It's a French cafe, chai tea. It's pretty tasty. If you're in the Winter Garden area, try Rosalie's. It's pretty good. One thing I was a little concerned about when moving from the S22 Ultra to the S22 Plus was display quality because I really like the Quad HD Plus display on the S22 Ultra. But honestly, this Full HD Plus display is gorgeous. It's nice and sharp, still has the 120 hertz that the S22 Ultra has. And honestly, I can't really see that big of a difference between this display and the Quad HD Plus one on the S22 Ultra. Plus, this has the same max brightness at 1,750 nits as the S22 Ultra, so you're still getting a very vibrant and incredibly bright display when it comes to viewing HDR content. To go along with the display, another one of my concerns when switching to the S22 Plus was battery life, and I'm happy to say the battery life on this phone is really good, and it's almost as good as the S22 Ultra. It's not as good, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the S22 Ultra is worse than the S22 Plus, that would be insane because the S22 Ultra has incredible battery life, but this easily lasts me through a full day. I'm getting anywhere between eight to nine hours screen on time, but honestly, I haven't been keeping track, so stay tuned for my full review if you want those detailed stats. But this phone is really good. It has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which is smaller than last year's S21 Plus, but it's still better than last year's model, and that's all thanks to the more efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, plus, it has Bluetooth 5.2. Both of these things combined equal better battery life, more efficiency, and with that new processor, you're able to get even more power out of this phone versus last year's model. So not only is it more efficient, but it's more capable. The one thing to consider when you're looking at the S22 Ultra versus the S22... Why? 
The one thing to take into consideration when you're looking at performance of the S22 Ultra versus the S22 Plus is that the S22 Ultra has more RAM at 12 gigabytes versus the S22 Plus, which is capped at eight gigabytes. This is gonna come in handy if you do a lot of multitasking or you use DeX a lot. So the extra power of the S22 Ultra will really shine in that aspect. But personally, day to day, I haven't ran into any issues with the S22 Plus, especially since the software allows you to, to use internal storage as virtual RAM. Also, another thing that you get on the S22 Plus that you get on the S22 Ultra is fast charging. So the S22 Plus still supports 45 watt fast charging just like the S22 Ultra, and that's awesome for topping off your battery as fast as possible. Look at this good boy. Oh my gosh. This little fur baby is just waiting for his master outside so patiently. I'm gonna steal him. So the one thing that I do miss about the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the camera setup. The 10 times optical, three times optical, ultra wide and wide is a very versatile camera setup and I love it. But the S22 Plus is no slouch. And one of the improvements this year with the S22 Plus is portrait video, which I'm being shot on right now. It has better edge detection and you can see it's doing a fantastic job and it looks great. But there's a lot of other improvements to this camera setup. So some of these updates include a new main sensor. So now we have a 50 megapixel main sensor versus the 12 megapixels of last year. And you're able to capture beautiful photos in daylight and in low light. Here's a few samples. And you also have an updated telephoto. So no longer do we have a 64 megapixel three times hybrid zoom. We have a 10 megapixel three times optical zoom, meaning that the quality of the telephoto pictures is gonna be better in every way, more detailed and just a better overall image. Again, here's a few samples. And to go along with the updated camera sensors, just like the S22 Ultra, we have the updated Pro Mode. So if I go into Pro Mode, I can now manually control the ultra wide, wide and the telephoto and I have settings for ISO, shutter speed, EV comp, focus, white balance, and more. So this is really nice to see. I love this new updated Pro Mode. And speaking of Pro Mode, the S22 Plus also supports Expert RAW just like the S22 Ultra, and this is awesome. So let me show you Expert RAW and where you can download it because it unlocks the full capabilities of these new cameras. So if you wanna get the best quality out of your photos, you're gonna to wanna to download Expert RAW. So just go into the Galaxy Store, then do a quick search for Expert RAW, and you'll see it pop up right here, and then download it. When you open it up, it's very similar to the Pro Mode built into the stock app, but it gives you 16-bit RAW photos, which is incredible. And if you go into the settings, you can really tweak things like high efficiency RAW, you have tracking autofocus, and a few other things. But it really unlocks the full potential of these sensors, and it's just like Expert RAW on the S22 Ultra, so I'm not missing anything here, which is another win for the S22 Plus. Another update when it comes to the cameras is the updated front-facing camera. So now we have a 40 megapixel front-facer versus the 10 megapixel of the S21 Plus. This means that you're gonna get higher definition or higher quality stills from the front-facing camera, especially if you use the bin mode. And this is the front-facing video. I gotta say, I'm really impressed. It's not that much different than the S21 Plus, but... That was my cameraman, ladies and gentlemen. Him, right? There, that was him, that was him. It's not that much different than the S21 Plus, and if you look at it compared to the S22 Ultra, there's not that much of a difference either, but that just means that the camera quality on the S22 Plus is equivalent or almost equivalent to the S22 Ultra, and I'm definitely feeling that. Like, I really like the cameras on this phone. Like, they do a great job. So one thing I've really grown to appreciate is the IP ratings on phones. If you're not following me on TikTok and Instagram, make sure you do so. I do a lot of uh, underwater tests and I really appreciate the IP rating on the Galaxy S22 Plus. It's just like the S22 Ultra. So if I take it, dip it in some water, as you see, and then go into my phone, it is still working just fine. So it's water resistant or some people like to say waterproof. Um, for 30 minutes up to uh, a specific amount of meters. I'll put it on the screen, but I really appreciate the IP rating on the S22 Plus. It just makes it a little bit more durable and it can resist a little bit of the elements that we encounter in our everyday life. The last reason why I think you should consider the S22 Plus over the S22 Ultra is price. So the price of the S22 Ultra is like 1200 bucks, I think, maybe slightly more. 
and you can pick this up for a thousand. Now that's retail price. I've seen this go as low as 800 bucks brand new on eBay. So make sure you shop around. You can get this phone really cheap, especially with Mother's Day is coming up. So Mother's Day is coming up and you're gonna be able to get this at discounted prices with trade-in offerings and much more. I'll leave a link to several Mother's Day deals down in the description. If they're not there yet, make sure to keep checking because I will update the links down there as they become available. So this phone's not only cheaper, but you're getting a great deal, a great phone with a lot of the same capabilities as the S22 Ultra in a more compact form factor. And I really like that. So there you go. That was 10 reasons why you might want to consider picking the S22 Plus up over the S22 Ultra. I've been really happy with my Switch so far. This is a really great phone. I'm going to have a lot more content coming up, including my full review, some comparisons, and of course, a deeper look into these cameras because I briefly touched on them in this video. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to stay tuned and comment down below and let me know what other content you would like to see. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.